Y'all right, ready? Let's go ahead and finish. If you're not finished, go ahead and get your last line out. All right. Who would like to share the metaphor of family? And we're going to make this real quick because I got one more thing that I'm going to have the opportunity to perform a song for y'all. If you have any questions. We got to say all the prayers. Do we couldn't just say one. No, read the whole, it's a poem. Read the whole poem. <laughs> yeah, you got to have three lines at least minimum and share the whole poem. Yeah. I'm teaching how to go deep because look, I get it. When I was young trying to write, I just I did the bare minimum. Yeah, okay, la, 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 la. I did see, I did it, Miss Teacher. I did it, see? Nah. You have to go deep. Stop being scared to think, y'all. We can't allow our brains to be lazy. We have to we gotta go deeper. Alright? We have to give a little time, give a little bit of ourselves to make things great. Because you won't be great until you do that. Point blank. You can't you can't escape working hard. I'm telling you. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all know somebody who makes like all A's and B's all the time? Like all the time. Y'all know you don't know nobody like that. That there's gotta be somebody in school like that. Okay, do you know of somebody who make A's and B's? Yeah. You don't know nobody who make A's and B's. Like nobody? Yeah, right. Not this year. Like nobody in this whole school? Nah. Oh my god. That's, That's sad. That's why there's more kids here because they have to bring this back because right. we're all family. Wow. Does y'all know nobody make A's and B's? How about okay? Ever? <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Let's go back, son. Let's go back. <laughs> Have you ever knew of somebody making A's and B's? How did they get the A's and B's? Working hard. Say what? Doing good in class. Doing good in class. Working hard. Because somehow, when I talked to some kid, I went to the school in uh, Rock Hill. I, I spoke to them. They were in the gym. They were all separated. But I, I was speaking to them, and one of the kids was like, I asked them, Who y do y'all think they, they, the kids is giving A's? Somebody like, yeah. Like, no. Nobody, nobody gives you A's. But here's where the confusion lies in. Because we got to remember, we're still human beings. We're still people, right? Yeah. If somebody's doing right by you all the time, you're going to probably give them a reward, right? If they treat you right, or if you have like a younger sibling who's always nice to you and they ask for something, would you give it to them? No. Yeah. If they, I mean, they, they like, they ride with you. They like, I got your back, big bro, big sis. I do everything you know. They look, they're looking out for you. You wouldn't look out for them? Yeah. So that's what happens. I think people get, get confused with teachers. Man, that's the thing he always took up to teach. Teachers like him better. No, that's called getting a reward for working hard. We human beings. If I know my child is go, is grinding hard and doing everything I ask them to do at home, and they say, "Dad, I, I did my chores. I'm making A's and B's. I want to know can I get the new Jordans?" Why not? What, what did they do wrong? <laughs> Nothing. They earned it. That's called earning that. They earned it. If I can afford it, and usually I'll break my neck to do it, they earned it. Now they come over some just some C's and D's. Can I get some joints? I got my face. <laughs> you know joints for that. You didn't earn that. But they, they keep the room clean, do the chores, make A's and B's, good attitude. I'm going to reward that. It's the same thing in school. If you work hard in school, the teachers and teachers, we human. It's like y'all talk about teachers. Teachers talk about y'all. <laughs> we human beings. You think that if somebody, man, it's such such, he he been working hard in the classroom all the time. He doing my class too. Yeah, I'm gonna look out for him. And they, they're gonna look out for you. They're gonna look out for you because you working hard. But you can't be failing and get mad at the person who's doing great. You have to work hard for that. There's no any way around it. How many y'all? I love basketball. How many y'all watch sports on TV? I love I love basketball. Some of the greatest players, do they make the most money? LeBron James. LeBron James probably one of the highest paid. You know why? Because he works hard for what he wants. He works hard. He worked hard since he was 12. You know that guy at 12 years old said he's going to be in the NBA? He said that at 12 years old. He said, I'm going to be in the NBA. And you know what he did since then? He grinded. He worked hard every single day. He was on the playground every single day. He sacrificed. That's another word we're scared of. He sacrificed hanging out with his friends all the time. He sacrificed being on the game all the time. And I'm quite sure he did some of those things some of the time. But some of us, we spend hours doing stuff that's not helping us to be what we want to be. That dude grinded. He worked hard. That dude was on the court every single day. Then by the time he was 15, NBA scouts always looking at him. They're looking at this dude. It's phenomenal. They watch him. So at 18 years old, he was the number one draft pick in the NBA. At 18 years old, y'all, he was a millionaire at 18. 
Some of y'all, they, they were probably a year or two away. He was a millionaire at 18 because he worked hard because he saw vision. He ain't let nobody stop him from that. I'm going to get there, and y'all ain't going to stop me. He won the best. Arguably of this generation, one of the best players. At 18 years old, he was able to get his mama out the hood. He was a millionaire at 18. He was able to get his best friends. He gave them a job. Rich Paul Sports. I don't know if y'all heard of Rich Paul Sports. His best friend runs that. It's an agency where he signs other athletes to get better contracts. It's because he put his best friend in position. Now his best friend making millions of dollars on his own because he put his best friend in that position. How many of you would love to put your people in a good position to win? Exactly. But you got to win first. You got to do that first. You got to make a decision first. Now, let's share. Who got some poems to read? Let's go. Thank you. Let's go, sister. Let's type it up. Let's so volunteer first. Let's go. Let's go. And you got you to you you stand up inside the desk. Let's go. I'm proud of you. All right, y'all. Respect the mic. Here's something you like. Snap what you're done. Clap. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Look, who else? We'll do about three more. We got one more thing to do before we get out of here. You want to share? Let's go. Let's go. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Let's go. My mom is a lion eating in the forest, rainforest. My grandmother is a claw sleeping in a tree. My grandfather is a cheetah sleeping on a rock. <laughs> My sister is a cub bear rolling in a cave. Let's go. Y'all give it up. Give it up. <laughs> two more. Give two more people. Come on, y'all. Give two more. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all clap it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> I love it, love it. One more. One more. What you got, young lady? Write your head down. What you got? What you got? You should never have your head down. That, that that's the worst mistake when somebody come visit your clan and your head down. That's the worst thing. Let's hear it, baby. What you got? Let's hear it. You gotta stand up with it. You got this. Come on. That long, beautiful braid. You got it. Come on. My mama is a bear that is hugging in a tree. My brother is a beast that is running in my house. My little sister is a puppy that is scaring people away. Good job. Okay. I love that. Do me a favor. Just cross out that is in your east line. Just say my sister such is something running, jumping, whatever. But I love that, and thank you for participating. Appreciate that. Oh, that beautiful brain. I'll see the girl. I'll see you. Really? All right. Well, anybody else? One more. Anybody else? You got to read it. No, I actually got another poem. Okay, well, hold on for that. Let me get some opportunity. I love the fact you're sharing. That's awesome. What you got, bro? <laughs> you! <laughs> you, you're damn chilling. <laughs> huh? You didn't do it? I did. I just want to go. Why not? Yeah, I, how about if I just sit down and read it? How about that? All right. Y'all listen up. All right. So I put my mom is a bird always watching me. Hold on. Let me stop you. Don't say always. Just cross out always. Give me the PPV, all right? Okay. My mom is a bird watching over me. My sister is a monkey, annoying me eternally. <laughs> Our grandmother is a flamingo watching me at home. That's God's beautiful, man. <laughs> and you flamingo. I like that. I like that. See, that was dope, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right, now, real quick. I don't know. Are we good on time still? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so if you got space at the bottom, it's cool. If not, you turn the paper over. We're going to write another poem. Same concept, but this poem. It's gonna be all about you. We don't wrote about anybody else. We talk about people around us. Now, we're gonna write about ourselves, alright? All eyes on me. All eyes on you. Try it again. All eyes on me. All eyes on you. Thank you. Alright. One thing I love, let me tell you, I don't know about y'all. I love being in nature. I love going to the beach. I love being in the woods. Love being in the country. I love it. And I always take notice of the things around me. Especially the beach, y'all. I love, like, if I need to get away, I'm going to the beach. 
And I'm just sitting out there, just listening to the ocean waves crashing. Just the birds chirping. Feel the soft sand. I just sit there, and I bask in it. You know, sometimes I bring my notepad, sometimes I'm just, I'm just enjoying the moment. How many of y'all really take time to enjoy the moment in your life? Any moment, it could be anything. How many of y'all just sit somewhere and enjoy that moment without picking up your cell phone? Without the just, okay, feel y'all. I love it. It's good. It's good. If y'all, for those who raise your hand, I challenge you, find a moment once a day without your cell phone. Just chill. I mean, like, chill. Look at my phone now. I mean, it to be every day. I'm just saying, one, pick one day and just take some time out without your cell phone. And just, just be in the moment. Like, really live in that moment. Not worrying about what somebody else is thinking or whoever posting something. Huh? Living like Larry. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, just pick one day. It's just once a week. I challenge you, once a week. Take take one hour. One hour, one hour once a week. Just one hour without your cell phone and relax. Don't let the silence scare you. I know some kids scared of silence. Man, it's just too quiet. <laughs> too quiet here. <laughs> it's supposed to be quiet. <laughs> Observe things around you. Like I love nature. Alright? Now, y'all give me some things in nature that you see. Give me, give me some things in nature. Birds. Okay, birds. Tree, dirt. Alright, tree. Dirt. What else? Dirt. Dirt. I say sand. I like sand. Grass. Grass. What else? Birds. Insects. Insects. What about? Mountain. Cloud. Ooh, there we go. Cloud. What about? River. Lake. Lake. Stream. Ooh, there we go. Stream. Water. <laughs> Ocean, maybe. We're going to compare ourselves to things in nature. Here's what I mean. I would say I am a river. That's my metaphor. I'm comparing myself to a river. What would be a good PPV to use? Flowing. Flowing. Good as you go. Flowing. That's my PPV. All right, what about a preposition phrase? Flowing down, where? Down the stream. Down, okay. Down the mountain. Down the mountain. I like down the mountain, but down the mountain. You can never go wrong with nature. Nature makes beautiful poems. All right, I just said, the metaphor, I am a river flowing down the mountain. I gave you a good visual, right? And metaphor works sometimes hand in hand with imagery. So I painted the image, but I did it with a metaphor. I want you to come up with three to five metaphors for yourself. Anything in nature. I got your word back here or you come up with your own. Tell yourself or something in nature. I am a blank. The PPV, so I'm a circle of metaphor. I'm a river. A PPV flowing. Or your ING words. Not that is flowing, no flowing. Underline, preposition phrase. Down the mountain. I'm a river flowing down the mountain. Is the word back to things in nature. Don't prepare yourself to three to five things in nature. Metaphor, PPV, which is the ING, preposition phrase. Give me a location. All right? Give about five minutes on that. Who's finished? Who all finished? Oh, wow. I got two. Okay. For those not finished, keep writing. Uh, I let three people share. If we want to share this, finish. We share. Okay, go ahead. Y'all can sit down. For the sake of time, we can sit down too. Go ahead. I am a leaf blowing down a tree. I am a cloud soaring in the sky. I am a raindrop falling from the clouds. Ooh! Let's go! Let's go! All right, bro, let's go. Let's see, I see. Um, I'm an ocean waiting in absence. I'm a tree swaying in presence. And I'm the sky floating in my own house. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh, tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me that's not beautiful. Let's go. Yes. I'm a star shining in the sky. I'm a cloud floating in the sky. I'm a rock eroding through the ages. <gasps> Woo! Far! That last line. Oh, my God. Y'all clap it up. Woo! One, I, one, one more. Okay, one more. One more. I'm, I'm being greedy now. One more. I'm just having a good time. Anybody else? Because those are magnificent. What you got, young lady? I am a river crashing in the rocks. I am a tree swaying by the lake. And I am a leaf running down the stream. Wow. 
Oh my God. Did y'all enjoy that? That means I go a little deeper, man. Like you can actually go another layer with your writing by just using these formulas here. Your whole poem ain't got to have this. Some element of this in your poem will make your poem stand out. Metaphor is that little lyre seasoning, that old bay you sprinkle on your poem. Make your poem stand out a little bit. If you use this, this structure right here, I promise you, every teacher going to read your stuff like, wow, oh my God, this, that was a good little party. I like that. That's a little stanza there. Give us the thought. And all you got to use is metaphor. PPV, prepositional phrase. Give it a location. Make your words move. All right?